There are a couple of key facts to remember when studying projectiles. And the first fact is that gravity always pulls down. And that's of course easy to remember because that is entirely consistent with our everyday experience. Gravity pulls down. We just need to keep that in mind when we're thinking about projectiles. If an object is thrown upward, say at an angle like this, let me draw that again, something like this. So it's thrown upward and it might sail through the air like this. Okay, the initial velocity, that's this vector right here. That vector represents its initial speed, the speed with which it was thrown. Notice that that speed is up and to the right. We can draw those two pieces. This vector has a horizontal part, which we would draw like this, and a vertical part, which we would draw like this. And these are called the components. The, we, we think of them as the upward, you can think of them as the upward part and the rightward part. And I don't know if the word rightward is actually a word, but I think you know what I mean. This vector right here is up and to the right. And this little vector shows how much up it goes, and that vector shows how much to the right it goes. The upward part and the rightward part are referred to as the horizontal and vertical components. Horizontal and vertical components. And that's a good term to know. Those little vectors that I drew in green are the horizontal and vertical components of this one, the initial velocity vector. Now look at the next idea. The second key fact to keep in mind when you're studying projectiles is that the horizontal and vertical motion are independent of each other. And that's written there for you. And that is a main point the horizontal and vertical motion are independent. So let's draw this again. Here's an object thrown upward and it ends up moving in a path something like this. And here are the main ideas. It obviously it goes to the right. The object goes to the right. It also goes up. and we see both of those because it was thrown up and to the right. But the upward motion, because of gravity, the upward motion is slowed and reversed. So it's going upward, but then it ends up going upward more and more slowly and eventually reaches a peak and then starts to come back down. And obviously it's gravity that does that. Gravity pulls it down. The upward motion is slowed and reversed. due to gravity. And then here's the key point to catch. The upward motion is slowed and reversed due to gravity, but it moves to the right the whole time. It moves right the whole time. In other words, it continues moving to the right even as it comes back down. And the key point there is that the horizontal and vertical motions are independent. The fact that gravity is changing the vertical motion doesn't mean that there's any effect at all on the horizontal motion. Gravity only pulls down. Gravity pulls downward. It doesn't pull this object forward or backward at all. Gravity only pulls down. So gravity only affects the vertical motion. It, sh it slows the upward motion and then pulls it back down and causes some downward motion. But it doesn't affect the left and right motion. It doesn't affect the horizontal motion at all. And we see that happening in the case of a simple projectile. And you might not have thought about it that before, but that's an important fact for understanding and analyzing projectile motion. It moves up and it moves down. And gravity affects the vertical motion, but it continues moving horizontally the whole time because gravity doesn't affect the horizontal motion at all. The horizontal and vertical motions are independent. They can and should be treated independently.